Greetings and welcome to CS275 Database Development. We are going over inserting and updating. So for our topics, we will talk about uh, inserting data into table. Uh, we will talk about updating data in a table and then deleting data from a table. Um, at the end of this, you should be able to insert and update multiple rules in a column and then you will add rows um, and then modify them and delete one of them uh, to show that you know each of the tasks. So let's start off with inserting. The keywords for this are insert into and then the table name. So you'll notice that is lowercase because you insert your table name and then parentheses and then each one of the columns that you want to add into it. And then the next keyword is values and then the values that you want. Uh, so as you notice, they match column one will be value one. And then every time you want to add a new row, you just run this again. You can leave these three pieces the same, but you're going to add different values. And we'll see this in a second when we demonstrate. Updating. The keywords for this one are update, again, whatever the table is, set, and then each change you're going to make. So column one needs to change, column two needs to change, and then so on until you're done changing. And maybe it's just one. You don't need more than one, but that's how it works, separated by comma. And then very important, very important, where clause, right? We learned about this when we were uh, changing stuff, selecting stuff, right? You can select very specific stuff. Uh, so with this, you if you don't put the where clause, you'll change everything, right? So if you want to change one person's first name to John and you don't put this there, it will change all of your users to John, right? Now maybe you want a slightly ambiguous um, condition like change it to where anyone with this last name has a first name of John um, and then it'll change all of those. Probably the greatest example, but that that's more specific, but still kind of anyone with that last name will get that first name. Um, normally what you want to do is the ID. Right? You need to find the ID number of the user you want to change and then you change it. All right, deleting. Keyword for this one is delete from, again, table name, and then where. Again, if you do not have this where condition, you're going to have issues with deleting everything. Right, So you can delete everyone with the last name of this, everyone with the first name of that, or again, very common thing, delete the user that has uh, the ID of whatever, right? So let's go ahead and jump into this uh, with our good old command line interface. So I already have it started up for us, logged in. We're using the user info database that I've done before, so it already has information. I just put a bunch of stuff to get stuff off the screen. And then I selected all from users to show you that we have nothing. And again, just as a reminder, these are our two databases, yeah, first name, last name. I mean, it's important to remember what they are and how they are used, spelled, capitalization, everything like that. So again, for our insert statement, we're just going to insert into users, right? Uh, and so let me go ahead and paste this. So insert into users, first name, last name, nickname, age. And again, I showed you that those were the column headings. And then John Doe, John Doe, it already has a semicolon. So when we click this, it did the one row. Now you can do multiple lines, right? So I showed you how to, because I already have a file with this, how to get into a Atom word process or anything where you can go ahead and do that. And then you can paste more row than one, right? So I just went ahead and added all of these. And I can also do the same concept for the other one, which does look I haven't created yet. So uh, as an example, if I, if I created, pardon that, if I created the database, there we go. Now I created the Doge database. 
Now I can go ahead and put in things. So again, here's a great example of if something doesn't work, you get your errors, it's fine, fix it, do it again. Uh, the problem is when you don't get an error and you make a mistake, then you've put it in there. But let, let's use that as an example, right? We have our uh, Jane Doe. Her nickname was Jan. If we come up here, right? Well, what if her nickname, she doesn't like Jan. Maybe she just wants to still be called Jane, right? So we need to know the information and we can use this to update our all of our stuff. So um, what we're going to do is just write that into this statement. All right, so we can just type this into it. We have update table name users set and again we need to know the information right so we're going to change her nickname so nickname nickname and then equals and then what we want to change is now it is a string text so we need to put it in quotes and then again, we're going to change it to Jane and then our where clause is going to be where the ID equals now this is a number an integer so we're going to put a number, we're not going to put quotes around it. And Jane was the second user here. Now I should have done a select statement to show this, but I'll do it right after this. But I know that she's going to be the second one because I showed you it was completely empty and she was the second one added. So I know her that her ID number is two, right? And then we hit enter, it updated it. We run our select statement. I'm just getting the up arrow key real quick to get to it, right? So select star from users, it's going to select everyone. And then we can see capitalized it that and I, I knew her ID was gonna be two but this is a good way to figure out what someone's ID is is just to run a select statement and then finally if we wanted to delete someone we run delete now I'm not actually gonna run this because I don't want to delete anyone from this but delete from and again users is the table name where and if we were gonna do John Cena we need ID equals eight and again no quotes around that and if we forget this where statement it's going to delete all of the users right um, so again I'm not going to run this because that would delete this I want to leave it in there for now but that is how you can insert and, and, and when I built this document I just copied the first one over and over and changed the pieces that I needed to add to it and then same thing for the doge and then update again a big piece of that is the where clause and I could do more right I could change her first name her age however we need to by just putting a comma there as mentioned with this and you notice I do it all in one line uh, although sometimes it's easier to show you on separate lines and again as long as you have the semicolon I can keep just going down and down and down through this if I want to. So, all right. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, we will see you next lesson.